On the first day of Black History Month, volunteers in Springfield are figuring out the best way to improve a historic African American cemetery. Springfield City Council recently approved $100,000 in American Rescue Plan Act funds for renovations to the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery. Color 10's Ashley Eddy is live tonight explaining what improvements will be made. Well, Stephen Bailey, one of the main things being worked on right now is paving this drive area here in the cemetery, making it easier for visitors to come out. I was handed a pretty much a, a three inch thick binder of all of the requests. Springfield Councilwoman Monica Horton is talking about applications for American Rescue Plan Act funds. She says one request really stood out to help the Lincoln Memorial Cemetery. There are veterans who are buried here. There are individuals who um, dealt with the stain of our history of dealing with segregation and racism and white supremacy. Cemetery board volunteers say it's obvious the area needs some sprucing up. We're gonna have some trees taken out that are all dead, dead trees. And some, some of them has fallen over on some of the stones. So that, that's a must that we do that, have uh, the, some of the stones set up, some of the stones cleaned. The Lincoln Cemetery is more than 100 years old and a resting place for some of Springfield's oldest African-American families. They said that we couldn't be buried at a lot of places, a lot of cemeteries. The majority of the people uh, the black families was buried at Lincoln. Sheila Burton says that includes her family. I have uh, uh, grandparents and I have a baby and I have uh, uncles and aunts and uh, that are buried there. And Horton says she hopes the approval of the funding will help send a message to the community. I think um, just, just tells how um, we honor dignity in death and dignity in grief and loss in the wake of uh, post-pandemic related issues that have disproportionately affected the African-American community. Volunteers are currently seeking bids from companies to come out and do these renovations. It all could start this spring heading into the summer. Reporting in Springfield, Ashley Eddy, Ozarks First.